Hello, I'm Teresa Conway Hayes, and I'm in Boise, Idaho. Today is Friday, July 29th. It's about nine o'clock at night here, and um, welcome. I'm doing a plan with me video tonight. And I ran out of breath. Um, so this plan with me is going to be um, in regards to this new join offer from Stampin' Up with the Making Plan collection that you can get free um, in your starter kit during celebration. So if you have been thinking about joining Stampin' Up as a hobby demonstrator, you know, just to save money on buying product and being able to buy product for pre-order before a catalog comes out and some of those little benefits that you get, including whatever the freebie promo is during that time. Now is a great time to do it because this really cool freebie promo, which I will show you right there, is, in my opinion, a lot of fun. But disclaimer is that I am a planner junkie and um, it just is a really good fit for me for the things that I love to do, which is to make cards and I like to play with scrapbooking a little bit, but not necessarily in the traditional way. I like to quilt, but not in the traditional way. I like to do it um, with paper. So I am going to, let's see, that's going to be A and that's going to be B. And that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, one of these days I'm going to put some cute little sign behind my head. White walls, nice, but I feel like there needs to be something there. I should move my Stampin' Up decor piece right there. That would be fun. Okay, note to self, I should put that in my, my planner. Um, so let's see. We've got the planner. I believe I turned comments on. Yep, looks like I did. So if you're watching, um, please tell me where you're from. Another thing is, if you were watching earlier, you probably saw me make another attempt at this video. But yesterday, I bought a hotspot from T-Mobile, and I've been testing it out. And during the last Facebook Live, there were a lot of interruptions. And so I decided to um, do this again, to get rid of that video and do this again, to see if I could get a better quality video. Because I think this is a really super important topic because it was messing up. I forgot some things that I wanted to say and that sort of thing. So before I open up the planner, I am going to show you that I have all my extras here, which includes all the pages and two notebooks. Well, not all the pages, because I have three months of the pages inside of here. So I have this plastic sleeve that I keep all the extras in so that they stay nice and clean and neat. And so um, this has June, which I really didn't use, and then it has all the rest, July. And actually it came with two Junes, but there's all the extras, different sheets and dividers, and then the two notebooks. The notebooks are, one is um, lined paper, and then one is, wait, oh, this one is blank. This is really cool for sketching. For some reason, I was thinking it was a grid paper. And then the last notebook, or the third of the three, is dot, dot grid. And 
So you can put the notebook in the very back of the planner like that. Okay, there's that part that I wanted to talk about. The planner has a little pin holder here. This is my quill pin, which I love to use, but it will also hold a stamp and write marker. Stamp and write markers work really super good on these pages. The paper is nice and heavy duty. So you can see the stamp and write marker and you can see the ink and it doesn't bleed through. So let's just zoom in. I don't think I can zoom in when I've got the AB on there. So I'll go ahead and bring that up and over this way and it doesn't bleed through. In fact, wasn't this page, but one of these pages I even used some alcohol marker and it didn't bleed through. So this is the month, oh, let's back up. So you've got the divider and this is the monthly focus page. And so I was just watching another video earlier where she put like birthdays on one of these and maybe it said task and maybe it said blogs or something like that. And I thought about that and I thought about what this says. To me, it's really important to have that important dates there to remember. Um, sometimes I will put things that I want to remember to include in my calendar over here in the notes, but I like how that specifies important dates. I like the remember to, I love the shopping list. And so the thing is, is I have to remember that the shopping list is here. And because I use other planners, like I use a happy planner for work and I use a digital planner for everything. So work, stamping up, personal. I'm trying not to put a lot of personal into my stamping up specific planner and my work planner because I'm trying to keep myself focused, but at the same time, it's important to be cognizant of which plan I'm gonna be in and make sure that I don't forget things. Sometimes things overlap. So um, the thing that I'm also trying to remember is that digital planner rolls, because the digital planner can go with me anywhere. These can too, but they're bulky and it's difficult. It's hard to find things. A digital planner, you can do a search for words and that sort of thing. So I'm trying to remember that I can take a picture of this and I can put it in my digital planner. If I absolutely need to have what's in this planner, I can put this in my digital planner. You can't do that vice versa. You can't put digital planner stuff in your paper planner. So that's why digital planner rules. So now we're going to talk about the Making Clans stamp set. This is the other item that comes in this set. So you get your supplies, you get your planner, and you get this Making Clans stamp set. Some of the supplies include stickers, which I'm not going to talk a lot about that sort of thing because there's a lot of YouTube videos out there that tell you what supplies come with the kit and also tell you how to put the kit together. This video is to plan with me. So I've already done some planning and I'm just walking you through how I've used this planner with practical application. Um, a lot of times you're going to want to stamp off using these stamps, at least in the beginning, stamp off so that you don't get your ink darker than what you want to for the pen or pencil that you're going to be using in your planner. Like I said, I'd like to start off with the notes as I go so that like if I'm going to if I have know something's coming for September. So you got your tab here and that'll take you right almost to the monthly layout. I might put 
it over here in the notes. And then I'm, when I'm ready to plan out my monthly layout, then I'll take what's in the notes and add it into here. And then from here, you add that into your other pages. So this planner does not come with daily pages, it's just weekly pages. So there's all kinds of different things. One thing I did see, and I wonder if I have that card here. Memories and more cards is what I'm looking for. So in my little pocket, I have um, cards for customer cards ready to go. And now I can't, oh, I remember where I put them. So you could put some business cards in here and that sort of thing. I also created a pocket over here because I love to make pockets. So this is a Memories and More card. And um, I still didn't remind myself So I got the DSP paper right here. Texture Chic and Distress Gold. I know that's not the name of the stamp set. It's Chic something. And it's one of my favorites, so I don't know why I can't remember what it is. Okay, I'm not gonna try and fit that in. Okay, so um, I used some of the stickers here. This little butterfly is a cutout that I had in my possibles. I got that from a kid's book. Um, so I have stickers here. Oh, this is what got me started on this tangent as I was looking for these cards. I think one of these, maybe it wasn't one of these. Oh yeah, here it is. It has a little pearl on it. That's cute. I like that. I want it to stay, but I want it to be down here. That's pretty. Okay, so what I was getting ready to say is she had a tracker card, and I don't remember where she got hers, but what she did was she took, and this is going to be a long video, so feel free to scroll forward or come back when you're not falling asleep. So, I'm going to, okay, I want it like that. I want it like that. No, I don't, because I don't want to put holes in here. I really don't like putting the holes there, but that's where I'm going to have to do it. So I'm going to put the holes right, and I need a pencil. Okay, i got to walk over and get a pencil. Oh man, that pearl's right where, okay, I just won't put the holes all the way up there. I'll put two holes here. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Goodbye, pearl. Okay. So I need a punch. Punch was a little small. Oh, I need another. 
another hole right here. Thought I missed that. Hmm. Oh. One, two. Yep, I still have to have that hole right there. So, this goes right there. There we go, that's the right lineup. We need a little hole right there. Erase the pencil marks. I feel like I'm hearing fireworks outside. I'm not sure why people are doing fireworks right now. I'm in southwest Boise. It's very rural out here. We have lots of quarter acre, half acre lots where folks might have a horse or when I lived in one area, one house around this area, um, my kids had lamps. Okay, so I'm going to start this habit tracker off with, I'm going to use my stamp and write. I'm going to start it off with August. I'm trying to figure out which is the fine tip. Okay, so this is going to be August. September. When is September? October. November. December. January. February and March. And if I decide that I like this, I might go ahead and make a copy of this on my printer before I start filling it in. Oh, that won't work because I filled in the days. Never mind, that won't work. Okay, so there's that. So there's a couple customizations that you can do to the planner once you get it out of the box. All these other things like this stamping and everything comes in the kit, but these are customizations that you can add to it, like making pockets, taking memory cards like this and adding them. Another customization that I did to my planner, I don't know why this page is laying loose. Let's see. Hmm, already okay, you're gonna go over there because you're just distracting me. Another customization that I did is for our scrap big booking pages. I took one of those with the four, what is it, three by four slots. They're a little bit more than three by four because these memories and more cards are three by four. Anyways, it, it's not set up to be in a six ring binder like this. So I took some DSP 
and I poked holes in here. So the DSP covers up the extra holes that shows this wasn't intended for this and it makes it a little pretty. So I could even color that if I wanted to. And so then we have some cards in here. Here's a sticker from one of the sticker sheets that was in this Memories and More packet. And then I just put some other stuff, like this is a couple strips of um, foil, black foil that was left over, and I put a piece of black foil behind here just to see how I like that. And then also this strip would work to be able to pull that little Easter egg that I stamped and colored last year, whenever it was. Actually, I think that was last Easter that we had those. And then again, my notebook. Now, a lot of people are um, using these notebooks like a, a bullet journaling. And I, I intend to do that too. I intend to probably, I thought I already did. Okay, I guess I didn't. So I might even, I just put in notes, stamp and write markers, write nice on this paper. So you can't see it bleed through right there. It did bleed through for, not really bleed through, but you can see like the stamps through the paper on that one. So I might just, um, this was me just experimenting with all the stamp images from the Stamp Making Plans stamp set. And then um, I might go ahead and take and do a index on like cardstock or something and then adhere that in here because I'd want to use both these pages and then start numbering my pages like starting here and then um, you just do like one mm, I don't usually do this side but there aren't that many pages so I don't think I'm going to do that. I'll do two, three, four, and so on. And so then what you do is you make your index. And I might just start the index here. So. I wished I had the Alphabest stamp set. I would love to have that for this. I'm I'm going to put that on my, my list. So that's going to go on my, and see how fast I can go to this list? Because I'm starting to learn. Pretend like that was fast. So um, actually I put a wish list there, but, oh I see, this one isn't set up right. Something's missing. There's a page missing here. Where the heck did it go? Oh, I didn't put it back. Okay, here we go. So this is my shopping list. So I'm going to put Alpha Best here. I want to remember to buy that. And then I had Wish List over here, Soft Suede, because... If you caught my other live, I mentioned that between moving from Idaho to Texas and Texas back to Idaho, I lost my soft suede stamp pad and I haven't been able to find it yet. Ideally, I would like more stickers that like, I could maybe write a sticker of goals here and then I could peel this, if I didn't get through them, I could peel the sticker up and then I could transfer it to September. That's what I like about digital planning is you can copy and paste. Okay, so 
that's pretty much everything. And I don't want to get real long winded about this, but I did have one more thing that I wanted to mention. Um, and then I'll do a bit of a walkthrough. But in regards to stickers, you don't really get a lot. So you get four sheets. There's two sheets of this, of course complete, I've used some of these. And then there's two sheets of this. So this has words on it and like, you know, encouragements and, and labels and that sort of thing. This has some floral and then this has some icons. And then these are kind of cool right here. And I didn't notice it until I watched the video, but you can take this little square out of here and it will fit perfectly on the, on a calendar page. So I'll just go ahead and show you. Let's see if I can pull that off without tearing it. Where should I put it? We're on August. I, I think I'm just going to put it down here. Wish me luck. Lighting. Oh, this is not good for me. But it's not impossible. These will peel up. One did rip when I tried to, but some of them will peel up halfway decently. Okay, yeah. This isn't something I'm real good at. The gal who demonstrated it was really good at it, but it's kind of a grunge square. I'm, I would probably take some ink and grunge it now. I like grunge anyways. So back to stickers. There's not a lot. So some of the stickers that I'm using are from my Happy Planner stickers that I buy. And then the other thing that I wanted to mention is that you could take Avery stickers, like this one is 5162. And these are big ones. These are like shipping labels. So you could take these and you could decorate these. You could put lines on them. You could probably run them through your printer with a bunch of lines if you wanted to and that sort of thing. The sky's the limit for this. So I just used the botanical layers and I, I stamped some of the botanical layers. Now I could take this and like put it on here and I'll bet if I put this down it would stay and I wouldn't be able to bring it back up again. It might look pretty, but I'm not going to chance it. So let's just go to a page in here. And I'm not sure how I got ink on. Oh, yeah. That was the thing I wanted to mention. Using my quill pen, um, the ink doesn't always dry real fast with a quill pen. So that's what this ink is over here. And that might come off with some alcohol or something like that. But... If you use a quill pen, you're going to want to keep that in mind. And I have another example in here of where stuff can go wrong. So I'm done with, I'm almost done with July. So I'm going to go ahead and just make this little side border pretty. Let's see, did that, yeah, that did good. There we go. There's a sticker. And you will see people doing planner videos and they they do that kind of stuff all the time. So like they might take something like this and they might just like hmm. 
that there. Run that along. Okay, it's not going to work the way I want it to. So that they might just say, okay, I don't want any more there. And a lot of them have um, exacto knives. I don't think I have an exacto knife here. I have one in my bag, but. Yeah, I don't have it here. So then they might take this exacto knife and cut there just around like that so that looks kind of cool that way and doesn't cover up all this. So let's go ahead and see if this will come up. Oh my gosh. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to say oh my goodness or oh my gosh. So that's why you got that weird word. That's cool. Okay, those come up. Good to know. So you might even grunge it. never done this before so it's kind of interesting just being careful whenever I pull it up oh this is kind of cool there you go and you know you could grunge it I mean um, Use your sponge with it before you lay it down. Let's try one more time. See if I can bring it up one more time. Okay, so now let's see. How about see if I got some green on this and then see if I can do this without it sticking to the paper. No, I don't have any ink on that. is just like you do with dyes when you cut them out. Okay. You get the picture. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's just a idea that I just tried on the fly. So anyways, that's the point is that you can do techniques and fun stuff that you enjoy while making cards with your planner. So that's what I wanted to talk about is making your own stickers. You can do a lot with your alphabets if you have the alphabets stamp set. 
Um, and these might even actually work better than any of the other stickers for coming back off the paper if you have to replace something. So next I'll have to experiment with my X-Acto knife, which I do have one. It's just in a location that's not close to me. Um, but anyways, so you can use like a letter stamp set and you can stamp planner. You can stamp planning projects, things like that. Or you can print it out on your printer so you have multiples. Lots of options there, lots. You can customize your planner to add things. There are so many options. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna quit going on and on about this. I do love it, it is a lot of fun. If you've been thinking about joining Stamping Up, I would love to have you as a team member. I would love to support you in any way that is, um, a good fit for you so whether you want to be a hobby demonstrator and just recognize the discount and be able to order when um, other customers aren't able to order yet so do pre-orders and that sort of thing i'm happy to support you that way if you want to turn it into a business i'm happy to support you that way so you're welcome to call me or email me or whatever is a suitable form of communication for you. What's really fun is that pretty soon I'm gonna get my new phone, phone memo in the mail. And I can't use this one right now because I recently lost the charging cord to it. And I just used it the other day, so I'm not sure how I lost it already, but it won't power on. So anyways, I got a new one coming and um, that will allow me to print off cute little pictures that I can put in my planner. How geeky is that? But it's what I love, it's what I enjoy, and it's what makes me happy. And that is what Stampin' Up! is all about. Y'all have a wonderful evening and I will see you again next time. Bye.